Tonight we're off to a massive playoff semi-final second leg between Sheffield Wednesday and Sunderland. The first tie at Stadium of Light ended 1-0 to the Mackhams. They played well, probably could have scored a few more, and it was Ross Stewart who sent the ground rocket. 44,000 fans is also a record high attendance for a semi-final playoff ever. It's simply two teams who are too big to be in the third tier, which is why it's such an important match for both. The Owls have started to apply the pressure in the last 15 minutes of the first leg. However, I see a 1-0 deficit as a bit of an advantage for them bringing back to Hillsborough. They have to go for it full throttle. The Mackhams have never lost a match that Nathan Broadhead starts in. However, after an injury issue at home, it's unsure whether he's going to play. Both these sides can't afford to spend any more time in League One. It's going to be absolutely rocking. <laughs> Welcome to Sheffield, it's match day. Right, we've got Morgs here, how are we doing fella? Let's go, let's go, come on Wednesday. A lot of people don't know you're a Wednesday fan. Of course I, I've been a Wednesday fan all my life. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's going to be 1-0 and I'll go to extra time. Okay. And I think we're going to win in extra time. Look who's giving us a lift of the game. Yeah. We've got Jill here. <laughs> Prediction today. Oh God, definitely 2-1. Two 2-1 one. Two one to who? To Wednesday of course. Oh, fair play. Go on you Blaze! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Yeah. Right, we've got a little Biram Retti here in the old crown outside the stadium. Decent beverage. 7 out of 10. You know what? When you get a beer right outside the stadium, you never know what the battle's going to be like. That is alright. I'll take it. Look at that. Get the sign in. Get the sign in. For Wednesday, I think today it's going to be a 3 0 victory because yeah. that's how we beat them yeah. earlier in the season. Yeah. And I was at that game with my main. There he is, the main man. Big Josh. Hello, mate. How, you doing? How are we doing? You're not editing, mate. You're in front of the camera today. I know. It's weird, isn't it? Weird feeling, but big game tonight. You are at the first leg. What was it like for atmosphere? Atmosphere was top notch. So, yeah. it's Sheffield Wednesday got a lot of to live up for. The away fans? What are Sunderland fans oh, like? Oh, yeah. Sunderland fans are amazing, I've got yeah. to admit. The home, the home leg was very, very decent. Yeah. It was in a crazy corner, and it was definitely crazy. Boom. Right, the lineups are out. As you can see, Barry Banner next, Bolton. But the one I want to speak about is Ross Stewart. What a ball he scored in the first leg. Going 2-0 to Wednesday. Two massive clubs. It's fun out there. 3-1, Not worried about Sunderland? No. Not at all? They're going to attack, but 3-1. 2-0. Who's the star man to watch out for today? Gregory. Gregory. And, you know, you know, I'll tell you what, like, League One. It's unfortunate Bolton are not here at a playoff stage, but... Sheffield Wednesday are in the lower tier. Sunderland above. Predictions. What do you reckon? What's happening here? Well, they come, they would just come in to basically stop the game whenever they can to just waste the time, disrupt the play, and mm. just hang on to that lead. Should 
thoughts? Yeah, well, I think the best player on the pitch for Sunderland has been the referee. <laughs> Morgan. The place of a ref. Yeah. We've had more cards than them. All they've done is foul them. Foul them. Time waste. Half time show. Empty stand. Quite a good idea. Use it as a band. Everyone's loving it. We've got a pie review. I've let Morgan choose what it was. I don't even know what pie I've gone for, but start the second half. Here we go. Hit one with John Wasted. It's unbelievable. Some men go for like 1 0, but this steak nail pie is decent. Pritchard to take. It's gone short. Oh, God. Stadium is, is standing up now. Patterson to score the Patterson's on. Now the time is ticking. Minutes at a time. Forget extra time. Either team can win it now. There's a few attacks that can build up. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Enough to score, eh? That's most I've ever seen in a football game. Yeah, yeah. Sunderland may have just done it. Score for Sunderland in the 77 country Roberts. Celtic. He's a man from City, or they might sign him on a permanent 
Liverpool player and he's turned up with an important goal there. Big moment. Nathan Broadhead's on the pitch. He might be slightly injured. Not, not where you are. Heartbreak is now, it's not good. It's great when you win them. It's terrible when you don't. Any moment now will confirm Sunderland's place in the League One playoff final. Sunderland are going to the final at Wembley. Once again tonight's attendance here at Hillsborough, three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. Unlucky, mate. Ah, well, you know, maybe next time. Maybe next year. That's why you go for automatic promotions here after all the last year. Yeah, yeah. Well, you'll be in the league of ball next year. That makes you feel better. Yes, absolutely, yeah. yeah. We'll, uh, we'll beat you again. Oh, oh, you again. Disappointed, but not surprised. <laughs> Right, full timer at Morgan's house. Very nice of him to welcome me in because we've got an early morning tomorrow, but decent match. In the end, Sheffield Wednesday, they bottled it because if they went and scored a second chance or put one away in the first half, they'd be laughing. They would have kicked on. Actually, before the game, I thought Wednesday were gonna do it. But Sunderland showed experience. They'd been here before. They had that Lincoln moment where they were leading for the first leg and then they bottled it. This time round, they didn't allow that to happen. Now, the lesson is to not do the same problem they did at Wembley and go out and bottle it because I've seen them live against Charlton where it's happened. So look, 10,000 likes and your club will win at Wembley at their next match. Wherever it is, I've got to say well done to Sunderland fans. They limited the capacity, yet they were just as loud and really creating a good amount of noise inside the stadium. And Bastards. <laughs> Morgs is fuming by the camera. <laughs> but on that way, we're going to wrap it up because he's about to kick off. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.